Okay, uh, good morning everyone. Um, and my name is Samuel Pasquier. I work for Cisco in the IoT Connectivity Group. I lead the product management over there. And what I'm gonna present today is all around IoT and what we do in IoT and what is IoT Connectivity. So I know uh, I had a few questions before we started the recording on what is IoT and what we do. So uh, what, what the agenda is gonna be for today is really uh, four things. First, introduce the portfolio and what it means IoT Connectivity, what are we trying to connect. Uh, then I'm going to talk about sensor networking uh, with our LoRa One solution. It's a new technology that's coming to the market. I'm going to explain a little bit what we do. I'm going to talk about fog computing. It's a new trend that's happening in the industry, uh, especially related to IoT. And we have a framework called IO, Cisco IOX. And I'm going to explain you what we do in that space. And uh, hopefully we're going to have time to do a demo so you can get a full uh, view of what the product does. Okay? So, what is IoT? That was a big question. And what do we do in IoT connectivity? So IoT is really, uh, the idea is to bring connectivity to machine, to things, you know, internet of things, bring connectivity to those devices, those sensors, those machines, those assets, to be able to get data and drive more business outcome for the customer. What does it mean? It means like, for example, you're gonna connect machines on the, on the plant floor that today are not connected through Ethernet or maybe connected through very uh, proprietary protocol, connect all of those machines so you can extract statistics out of those machines and be able to improve productivity, improve uh, the overall effectiveness of your manufacturing. So that's just one use case, but it applies in a lot of different verticals. And at Cisco, what we have done over the year is really build a portfolio to be able to address all those verticals. What is very particular in IoT compared to uh, what you see in the IT field is really the requirement in terms of form factor as well as level of organization of the device. Or device, the device that we build can run in extreme temperature, in a lot of dust, uh, you know, humidity and things like that. And are really built and certified for the different vertical, like for example, for utilities and so on. So what do we have in the portfolio? We have a lot of different products. The first thing is our industrial switching. So industrial switching, we have a full portfolio range from IE1K to IE5K, different form factor. It's really DIN rail mount switches, extremely ruggedized, as well as rack mount. They are built leveraging our catalyst portfolio, you know, catalyst uh, uh, switches that we have. But what we do on top of it is we have functionality for the industry. For example, we have Profinet stack, so we can interact with PLC for manufacturing. We have a SIP uh, for the North America market to interact uh, with, for example, Rockwell PLC. So that's the kind of functionalities that we had, we are added over the years, really meant for manufacturing space and organized space. And I'm gonna show you a few deployments so it gives an idea on where we put those products. We have a, an IoT gateway portfolio. What we call IoT gateway is really our uh, M2M uh, routing platform. You have one uh, just right here. It's our eight on, IR809, and I will use that to do a demo. We have industrial uh, routing product that is really meant, and industrial routing is really utility routing. We have one of the product, iconic product is our CGR, that is a pole mount router, and that is part of our mesh solution to be able, for example, in utility to do uh, electric meters uh, measuring. So for AMI use case, to be able to measure electric meters and uh, the data from those meters through a mesh network. We have LoRa One solution, so that's a new product, new technology, I'm gonna drill down a little bit more about it. That is really for sensor networking, a low power sensor, and we are gonna drill down a little bit more. We have industrial wireless. In industrial wireless, we have uh, extremely organized access points that are, for example, deployed uh, in oil and gas environment, where it's hazardous location. We have access points that we deploy in rail for transportation, so in the train. Uh, we just released last year uh, industrial firewall, so it's a regularized firewall where you find all the functionalities that you have on the regular ASA uh, portfolio at Cisco, plus functionality for the OT space, for the manufacturing space and industrial space. So for example, in this firewall, you can do deep packet inspection of your SIP packet, Profinet traffic and things like that. We have after uh, embedded... Yeah. Question, is this firepower based? Or? Yes, yes, it's firepower based, okay. So we do uh, uh, um, uh, monitoring as well, and really built for, for the industry. Uh, we have embedded networks products. So in that case, we sell uh, really PC-104 form factor uh, switches and router, and it's really uh, sold for people who want to build a bigger scene and embedded the te Cisco technology in their product. So think about uh, military use case, uh, intelligence use case, special forces, 
we also have a version of iOS that we sell as a software package. That's our ESR 5921. And last but not the least, we have an uh, edge computing platform, that's for computing, that's IOX, and that's what I'm going to show you today, as well as a management and automation tool. Uh, one of the products that we have there is Field Network Director, that is really a management platform for utility network, and IND, Industrial Network Director, that is a management platform for OT product. So think about manufacturing when you have people operating the network that don't know anything about the network, and how do you tell them what can go wrong, how do you show them what could be the problem on your network and how to fix it. Okay, so as you can see, we have a lot of different products in this portfolio, but once again, really the key is to bring this portfolio for the OT people, so people who are on the ground, and be able to connect those OT network, right, to the IT network. Okay, any question? Did, that, did it explain what we do in IoT connectivity? Yes? Okay, so some of the use cases, uh, I thought you liked picture and you, you, you are geeks. So I, I took some picture of a real life deployment of what we have. So for example, the first picture is the deployment of some of our uh, rack mount uh, rail switch in, for example, airport, where we put that uh, on the terminal. So you can connect things at the end of the runway. You can connect access point. You can do those kind of things. We have uh, an equipment that's uh, uh, extremely ruggedized IP67 switch that is uh, deployed in mining. Uh, so you can imagine the vibration, the dust, uh, you can literally um, water clean this stuff with water pressure. Uh, you have another equipment on IE3K that is uh, mounted. This one uh, is in an oil rig uh, to connecting on an on oil, oil um, field. And the last one is, I think this one is also from a, um, a customer in, in, uh, Emir in um, um, Dubai, where it's extremely hot environment, and they put that on the ground, you know, to be able to connect things and connect uh, PoE camera, access point, I mean, all those kind of devices that you, you can have. So it's really uh, the kind of use case that we have. That's what's for switching. We have also use case, for example, for roadside monitoring. Uh, that's an example with our IR809, that is this product, that is typically used in the cabinet that you see when you drive next to the freeway. So it can be used for digital signal, uh, to be able to report information that you have on, on, on the road, on the freeway, or on the signal. And all of that is capable because this water has a cellular backhaul, so you can access it, you can send message, you can connect all those kind of assets. Okay? Just a quick question on that one. Do you have some kind of life cycle where you think uh, this amount of time the devices will survive in this? Yeah, so that, that, that's a very good question. Uh, all of product, actually guarantee for five years, have a five year warranty, uh, which is extended compared to a typical Cisco product. And the lifetime is much longer than regular Cisco product. So regular Cisco product, or it depends, I mean, I'm, I'm coming from 6500, which has been very long, but I would say uh, seven to 10 years, this one will be 10 to 15 years, right? So much longer, so people can really uh, use those assets for I mean, more time, okay? Uh, I put a, uh, some more use case. On vertical, on what we do, so manufacturing is a, uh, is a, is a big uh, vertical for us. So it's really run connecting machine, PLC, IO drive, motor, and those kind of things. Uh, utility, it's about grid optimization. So in utility, uh, we use so AMI, which is measuring infrastructure, but also distribution automation, how to redistribute the grid, how to control the grid, and we use those kind of products to do that. Uh, transportation is about uh, signal, uh, traffic signal, it's about uh, rails, it's about uh, you know, bringing connectivity to all this infrastructure and moving vehicles. Oil and gas, uh, an overall process industry. Uh, for example, in oil and gas, we do uh, uh, pipeline monitoring, it's one of the big things that we do. And uh, the last part is intelligent building. So in intelligent building, we have a new product that was launched last, last year. It's not really in my portfolio, but I want to talk about it. It's about connecting LED lighting in, in the ceiling and that is really done through PoE, so you can really save a lot in terms of deployment of uh, new light, new LED lighting, okay? Intelligent building to smart building. Exactly, smart building, yeah. Um, <coughs> so what new products have we launched? So we have launched uh, a few new products recently. Uh, the first one is an IE1K, so it's a very tiny switch. We have it available on the wall of solution. It's very, very, very tiny. Uh, extremely ruggedized, and it's a lightly managed, meaning it's not really running iOS, it's a lightweight version, which has a web uh, UI to manage it, so it's very, I would say, very untreatable, where you want to connect a few PoE camera or a few, few device in a very remote environment with very space constraint. Uh, we have our IE4010, it's a rack mount, extremely ruggedized, uh, no, no moving part into that for high density PoE, 
right? So same thing, high density PoE, 24 ports of PoE that you, uh, uh, the switch is capable. Or IND is our management platform or troubleshooting platform for the manufacturing space. If you have time, I encourage you to go on the world of solution, we have a demo of it. Uh, we just launched the IR829, so IR829 with dual LT, so you can have two cellular modems, so you can have redundancy, you can do load balancing of the traffic across the, the different uh, cellular link. And we have a new way to do that we are just launching. Um, um, it's a kind of a preview because it's going to be launching this week and it's going to be uh, available in the, in the next few weeks. It's really how to uh, easily provision our new equipment or new suite on your router, so 809 and 829. And the last part is our LoRa 1 solution, and that's what I want to drill down into it. Um, is there residential use for any of this, or is this all really targeted at commercial? And I would say you can use it for residential, but you know, for residential, it's more what we have seen, for example, is uh, solar panel connectivity. So the utility company installs solar panel, and they want to be able to remotely access those, those solar panel and manage them and things like that. So that's a residential use. Uh, what we do with AMI is we have partnership with uh, electric meters vendor. So that is actually a consumer use, but it's not the consumer won't go and buy it themselves, right? You don't want to so, deal with the consumer market. Yeah, we are not in consumer. So it has use case for the home, but we don't sell to the end consumer directly, right? And from a software code perspective, what yeah. kind of software do you run on top of this device? So and I think that the beauty of this portfolio is that we leverage the bigger Cisco. So all our switches are running iOS, uh, and it's really built from the same source code that what you see on the Catalyst family. So you get all the IT features available on our equipment, plus we add functionality specific to the vertical where, where we sell. Uh, for the routing, it's based on the same ISR. So if you know the ISR portfolio that we have at Cisco, the same feature set you're gonna find on those kind of product, okay? So uh, actually, that's really what we're trying to do is leverage the bigger Cisco and ruggedize those products and add functionality to be able to, to sell and pro provide value for those kind of deployment.